Hello everyone! Welcome to the Dragon Shire. The objective for this map is pretty simple. Every once in a while, the shrines at the top and the bottom are going to activate. When that happens, boom, your team needs to take control of both of the shrines. As soon as you fill it, there we go, you do not have to stay on it any longer, but the enemy team can come in here and change it to their, um, their side. Once one team owns both of these, you will see lines emanating or coming from both of them, and they will converge here at the center, the mid lane, at this dragon statue. At that point, you have to go to the dragon statue, right click on it, and then you will become the dragon knight. And I will try to show that here. Alright, so now you see that we have control of both of the shrines. I'm going to grab the dragon knight to show you what it's like. There we go. So after you channel for a little while, you become the Dragon Knight. And your Q ability is going to be a Flame Breath that does damage over time. And an AoE like that. Well, in a cone, actually. And then the W is going to kick a target backwards and deal damage to them. Hopefully an enemy hero comes so I can show you that. You always want to be spamming this Q as much as possible. The kick target, though... You just kind of have to determine which character you want out of this fight. Usually it's going to be like their support so they can't heal, maybe the tank if it's in your face. The Dragonite as the game goes on will become more powerful. So a early Dragonite, like a 3 minute or 4 minute is not hard to fight. But like a 20 to 30 minute Dragon, like a 30 minute Dragon is... At that point you could probably just push the enemy core and win. Because that Dragon is going to be really hard to take down. Let me just show you this. Oh, I can't even kick them. I need, a, I need an enemy hero. You can see on the right that we have a time limit there. Uh. Oh, that's the Dragon Knight. I cannot believe none of the AI came to defend against the Dragon Knight. AI, you make poor showmans. I don't even know what I mean by showmans. I just wanted them to come by so I can kick them. They're all bot. Alright, so let's go over what Thrall's abilities are. First, he has a Chain Lightning, which is going to deal damage, and then half of that damage to two nearby targets. I'll just show here on these Siege man Camps there. Boom, boom. It would have been another target if there was one. He has Feral Wolves, which is going to send out a single wolf that deals damage along its path, but then it's going to root the first enemy that it hits, uh, the first enemy hero that it hits. It's going to go through minions and Siege Camps, but it will stop at the first enemy that it, uh, enemy hero that it hits. I guess I can show that off too. Then he's going to have Wind Fury, which is going to increase your movement speed by 30% and for, uh, for 4 seconds. And then your next 3 basic attacks occur at 100% faster. So let's see. There we go, our Rooted Falls dead. Oh boy. And then I died to show that off. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, Wind Fury. It's pretty cool. His ultimate that I take is the Sundering. I'm going to show that to you here, what it does. There you go. So it's going to separate the enemies from uh, wherever you hit them with the Sundering, and then it's going to stun them for a short period. It's a very great initiator. Oh my gosh, there's some stuff going down there. See, my team is kind of actually whooping us here. We're root Kerrigan in there, you can see the little rocks form around her. So anyway, Thrall's talent is going to be Frost Wolf Resilience. Dealing damage with abilities grants one stack of Frost Wolf Resilience. At five stacks, you are instantly healed for 540 health. That increases as your team level goes up. You can see how many stacks you have right over here. We have three of five. And that is his trait. It's really good at keeping him in the fight longer and gives him kind of a surprise um, survivability is what I'm looking at. I'm trying to say. There we go. Got to have to push them out of the base. So the talents, let's start here. In this game, I grabbed Rabid Wolves. So damaging a hero with Feral Spirit grants three stacks of Frost Resilience instead of one. Because remember, damaging grants you one, but this is going to bump that up to three if you hit them with the wolf. So I thought, eh, why not? More possible chance to heal. And Venom has been changed, I believe, with the new patch. But the game that's being played is the last patch. So I think it was slightly stronger. Because I think the damage it dealt was over... Four or five seconds instead of ten, which ten seconds grants the enemy a longer chance to kind of heal through it. So it's a little weaker now, so I may not grab it from now on. But anyway, I grab, I believe, in Venom in the next match, which is going to deal damage over time. Then, then I kind of focus on using his Wind Fury skill. Choose a so I grab Wind Shear, which is going to reduce the cooldown of Wind Fury by four seconds. Next talent is the Ultimate. He also has Earthquake, which will summon an Earthquake. 
that will slow enemies in the area by 70%. That may have been upgraded from 60%. Anyway, it lasts for 10 seconds. It's AoE is, if you stand you? here, you could probably grab the edge of this and that. So it's a pretty big AoE, but it doesn't move with you. And it just slows. Whereas the Sundering, you saw what that did. It shoves enemies to the side and it stuns them for 1.5 seconds and deals damage. I think that's always the better choice. You can mess around with Earthquake. It's it's kind of funny, I guess. Anyway, the next talent is going to be Grace of Air, which when Fury attacks, grants twice as many stacks of Frost Wolf Resilience. So it'll keep you in the fight a little bit longer. At level 16, I'm going to grab Tempest Fury. Power the courses, Wind Fury. Fury. Now the final strike of the three hits will hit three additional times for 75% of the damage. It's an insane burst damage skill if you apply Tempest Fury. And then level 20, I usually grab Nexus Blades. So basic attacks deal 20% more damage and slow the target for one second. And remember, Wind Fury is just a basic attack but faster. And with the... You know, I don't know if Tempest Fury Glorious. is also counted as three additional basic attacks. I'm not actually sure about that. But I know that the initial two, or the initial three are, anyway. Uh, so each one of those basic attacks is also going to be applying the Nexus Blade damage and slowing the target. So I think that's a great talent to grab if you're going the Wind Fury build. World Breaker, Sundering Travels indefinitely. So whichever way you cast it, it's just going to keep going through the entire map. I think that's kind of useless, honestly. Um, if you don't grab Nexus Blades, you should probably grab Bolt of the Storm, which is a blink, a short-range teleport, which is always useful to initiate, to disengage do some crazy tricks with uh, blinking abilities. So those are the talents that I'm going to be taking, the character I'm going to be playing, and the map I'm going to be playing on in the game to come. I hope you enjoyed, everybody. I still need to try and play Thrall. Let me see if I can... People will let me play this guy. I serve. I played Thrall like twice. So this should go... Glory to the whole. I don't even have any other skin colors unlocked to them. So as you level up with a character, you unlock skin colors, basically, for their basic skin. Um, I think the first one is at level 7 for the character. I'm at, what, like level 4? Let's see, I don't know how this is going to go. Time. You got a 5 minute game in HOTS? Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, the art this game was really good, though, Human Knowledge. It was fun. I suggest you watch that on YouTube when I upload it. That's probably going to be a couple days. Unless I upload a bunch of matches at once. Which I usually don't do. I try to upload only like one or two things from a certain series. How am I liking HOTS? I, I really enjoy HOTS. My hatred Lazarus. Is unending. Oh wow. Anytime you're ready. Man, Illidan, me, and Anubarak. Huh. Yeah, so I've been playing this game for a couple months. What heroes are in the game? Uh-huh. <laughs> Abathur, Anubarak, Arthas, Asmodan, Brightwing, Chen, uh, Diablo, ETC, Falstad, Gazlo, Illidan, Jaina, Johanna from Diablo, Kelthas, Kerrigan, Lili, Alfirian, Muradin, Murky, Nazebo, Nova, Raynor, Rhaegar, Sergeant Hammer, who's a tank. Uh, Sonia, Stitches, Sylvana, Tassadar, Lost Vikings, Thrall, uh, uh, Tychus, Tyrael, Sylvanas, Uther, Vala, Zagara, Zeratul. There you go. <laughs> I hope you know what those names mean. Uh, this is one of the first times I've actually streamed this game, Lazarus, so you really haven't missed much hero streaming. I've only streamed it like once or twice uh, a couple months ago. I wanted to wait till I was a decent player before I started streaming it more. And in the next patch, they're going to release the Butcher from Diablo, and also King Leoric, or the Skeleton King in Diablo, is also coming up. Uh, the Monk from Diablo is coming up. Sometime in the future. Yeah, they got a lot in here. And they have so many more characters that they can put in here, too. That WoW game. I don't know if you've heard about it. The World of Warcraft. That has spawned a lot of characters. 
Most of which I don't know. Because I did not play that. I recognize names of characters that were also in Warcraft 3 because I love Warcraft 3. Uh, thank you, Bane. Thanks for the compliment. I would type uh, Corgi Derp right now. I can do that right now. You get a puppy. A compliment. Understood. Oh man, what do I do with this guy? Increase chain lightning range. Battle commencing in What's our team? Ten seconds. Savannah's. Oh, they got an Arthas? Man, you never see that guy. Five, four, three, two, one. Hmm. Let the battle yes. begin. Damaging heroes of Feral Spirit grants three stacks of that one thing. So this guy, when you gain five stacks of resilience, he heals himself. So this doesn't sound too bad. Increase chain lightning range by 30% and attacking enemies recently hit by chain lightning. Nah, you gotta hit them in melee though, so that's not that great. I'll get rabbit wolves. A clever strategy. So really like oh man. Ooh. Arthas is gonna be nasty to fight as Thrall. Cause I gotta be in their face. <laughs> we got Arthas though. Nice body block. Yes. Fall before the horde. Hurry, activate the shrines and the dragon's power is yours. So yeah, I definitely do not promise a good thrall. But it is the character I like to play more of. Arthas went top to secure that shrine. I'm gonna go mid and see if we can get this bright wing. Boom shakalaka. Elements guide me. Do you want in Venom? Frostworld for Saints also restores mana? We must stop Oh. I'm not sure which one to get. Increase the range. Let's just do Venom for damage. Damn it. Such a narrow skill shot. Gotta get used to that. Kinda like Rainer, I guess. Elements guide me. Elements guide my blade. Or my hammer. My war hammer, in fact. Oh, the body blocks are real. Oh, shit. Yes. There it is. Now we activate Wind Fury to try and get some speed. Get the hell out of here. I'll grab the uh, dragon here. Reduces the cooldown of Wind Fury by four seconds. Let's do that. So the Wind Fury is the one that'll boost my attack speed up by a lot. Um, it also boosts my movement speed. 
So making that up a lot, or getting that up a lot more would be great. Do some damage on Sylvanas there. See if we can body block this Arthas again. There we go. Let's kick this Brightwing out of here. Get Brightwing out of here again. We gotta get out, we gotta get out, we gotta get out, we gotta get out. I'm gonna die. Oh, Wind Fury saved me! Oh, rude bitch! I mean, person. Oh, I can't go that way, can't go that way, can't go that way. Oh my god, he wants me. Huh? Elements, guide my hand. That was close. Ooh. For honor and glory. Let's get Thundering. Earthquake is just silly. I think. Oh no, I didn't... I didn't hit her! Damn it. That was bad. Why alt? Because I wanted to. Silly and Nubarak. That answer's obvious. A clever strategy. Uh. Your enemy has destroyed a fort. Oh man, she just used her escape. That's a bonus is free. Nice. Oh, man, if those chains hit, or those spikes hit, my wolf would have finished. Man, that would have been so good. Could have, would have, should have. I need mana. So I'll just use more mana. Hmm. Yeah. Rather entertaining. I don't know. I don't know about this. All right. Well, he went all in. Oh no! 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 Ah! I had no mana. That's why I didn't really want to go in, but. Illidan was so persistent, I'm like, alright man, alright, we'll do this. I should've just backed off though. I should've just let him do it him by himself, I think he could've done it. He didn't need my help. When Fury grants double Frostwork resilience, so that'd be more healing. Sure. Uh, is Zeratul up? Yes, yeah, so Zeratul may be trying to go after this Rainer. Never mind, Zeratul's up there getting killed. You get what I just said. Uh, she backed off. I'm gonna support this push. Uh, no, I don't think we're losing this right now. I'm gonna go for this, uh, shrine. That's risky. I'm not, I can't go in that far. 
Nope, 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 nope. A clever strategy. <laughs> yep. Go for the right wing. We need a. Uh, we need the other two players here. My my allies, my friends. Oh my god, Rainer, you motherfucker! God, all we needed was you to move twenty feet up. Then I would have lived. Done better myself. Choose a talent. Where are my friends at? Alright, what do we got here? Wind Fury's final strike hits three times. Oh man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. That sounds great. I liked how the Zero Tool blinked right next to me so I could just finish him off like, oh hey man. That's a nice face you got there. I'm gonna put my hammer in it. Help, help it, Lennon. Man. Man. I'll try to get my venom on him. The dragon knight calls from the green stone. Excellent. All right. We should capture this mercenary. Let's get some camps. Yeah, here I'll, I'll help. I'll help Rainer get this one. Understood. Activate the shrines. Take the Dragon Knight's power. For the Horde. I am the War Chief. Struggle no more. We should Let me get this. Let me get this. So all's pretty fun. All right, so we need to help mid out. For honor or kill the star at this, I guess. See now, Arthas got the wrong thing. He got the ghouls. Do you see how much the ghouls helped him? The thing is, you can eat ghouls as Arthas and get mana, or I'm sorry, get a lot of health back. But did that help him? Nope. Shit, for this. And glory. I'll grab it. How low is this? I'm gonna get their uh food there. So we're gonna get catapult spawning on this wave. Or this lane. There we go. I should do it. Or not. He has blinked up. Actually, we need to, uh, we need to go down here. Or not. Let's help him kill this guy, then. Alright, we really need to get this, uh, thing down here. Damn it! 
I didn't think we could get out of there, so I just wanted to get as a kill if I could. And I know that Sabanus was pretty squishy. Uh, we do not need World Breaker, because we don't need this to travel indefinitely. Basic attack still 20% more damage and slow the target for one second? That sounds great. Port of the Storm, I can also see why you want to get that. That's basically a, uh, like a flash, a blink, a short range teleport. Uh, welcome to the stream, Nick Michael. What I should have done is I should have ignored the fight that was going on and, and um, attacked the bottom port. Or a keep. I think that's called a keep. And then that maybe would have prompted my team to just come around me and fight there and we could have taken the keep as well. But I said went up to my team and... No. It wasn't as great. Yeah, he does, Dragon. Yeah, he does. Arthas is not like me. Hello, man. Arthas, I think, is a good character to pick Arthas against the wall. It's just that this Arthas took the wrong the wrath. Actually, what other talents does this Arthas take? Ha! <laughs> he took... He went the tanky build, Arthas, and that's the wrong way to build him. Alright, so the new Brack wants to push this keep. Oh, man. Shit. I'm out of position. I'm out of position. Oh, but the heels. The heels. Oh. Alright, it worked out. My gameplay has not been superb, but luckily my rest of my team has been carrying me. I went out of position there. My ults were not the best. But oh well. Went better than I thought it was. It's my character. You just want to get up in people's faces and just hit them, just repeatedly. Well deserved, heroes. Satisfying. Elements guide me. Ducks guide me. Rank seven. We started at nine. That's pretty good. <laughs> 